If you work with PHP, you probably heard about PHP code sniffer, and I'm not really surprised. There are plenty of articles with a basic knowledge about how to set it up, and if you think that's another one, please let me give you something more. Because in the latest material that you can find on my channel, I will provide the knowledge that I wish to have when starting my adventure with this tool. Of course, you will find some basics too, but what's more important, you will get more advanced tips that will help you build solutions that work for you, for your real needs. So, welcome back, I'm Przemek and in the latest material, I will talk about setting up PHP code sniffer and performing more advanced configurations to let you build your own rules. So, check it out! That's the third part of the course related to the linting process in web development. So if you didn't have the chance to check the previous materials, I insist you to do it now and get back to this one. They also include some useful information that might have impact the way how you understand this one. So PHP code sniffer is a command line tool that ensures your PHP code remains clean and consistent with specific coding standards. It consists of two scripts, PHPCS, the linter that checks what is wrong with the code and PHP CBF, formatter that tries to fix problems. A coding standard in PHP code sniffer is a collection of sniffs, each identified by the code using the standard.category.name pattern. A single sniff it is designed to find one or more rule violations, which also have unique identifiers. So, for example, we talk about standard.category.name.error pattern. This sniff checks if the code uses a long array syntax like Array. If so, PHPCS informs that it is not allowed and that the short syntax should be used instead. That's a pretty fast check showing just one fix. Another example is this one. This sniff ensures a space between each element of a for each loop and lowercase keyword. Compared to the previous example, this rule might be violated in different ways, so as a result we get more errors to fix, for example the space after open error. If we want those rules to be respected across the codebase, we can create a new coding standard to ensure that the codebase meets our needs. Of course, there's no need to build them from scratch. PHP code sniffer includes several standards like PSR1, PSL12, per and a few more within the installation, so we can use one of them. This is simple the way how the standards are built, just by choosing specific sniffs and adding them to the ruleset. How to install the tool? We can do it globally using the official instructions on our homebrew, but here I will go with local installation using Composer. So, at first we need to open terminal, go to the team or the plugin directory and add PHP code sniffer to your code base within the Composer require command. Remember to do it with the dev flag to skip the package in the production release. The simplest way to search for the violations in our code is to use the PHPCS scripts available within this path if we install it globally. Provide the location to check, the file or the directory and specify the coding rules. The tool will check all the files there and list all the problems with their exact locations. So we can navigate through them and fix all the problems manually, one by one. And I hope that you know I'm joking. I was seriously involved in the weird discussions with developers about exceeding a task budget caused by reviewing the files and making the violation fixes manually one by one. And it wasn't a single situation, so not everyone gets this. The report that we get after using the linter presents two types of potential violations. The ones that can be automatically fixed and the ones that can't. The first ones are the mostly the simple formatting problems that can be fixed only in one way, so the tool can simply handle them for us. The second ones needs more attention since they require a well thought out decision or manual changes. So let's try to use the PHP CPF scripts now to format the code for us and reduce the time needed for the fixes a million times. As you can see the tool handled all the fixable problems automatically and informed me that there was uh, one problem that needed my attention. Once fixed, we can fire PHPCS to see that there are no more problems to solve, meaning that the code is compliant with the rules. Another important part of the tool usage is ignoring the errors in the code. Sometimes we need to write the code in a specific way, even when it breaks some rules. In Poland we say, choćby skały srały to ma być tak i We can simply ignore next line errors with the ignore comment code, 
code range with the disable and enable commands or reduce ignoring just to the specific sniff or standard, which is the best practice. Of course, there are many more possibilities, so check them out in the official docs. And of course, by saying we can use them, I don't mean we can ignore the whole codebase. It requires a delicate balance between adherence to standards and pragmatic coding needs. So please be careful with this, because the project leader might not be happy with your ignores. So in the current state, if we file the phpcs command, we will see that the system shows an error about the brace placement. If we add the ignore for this error, like in this example, if we file the phpcs command again, we will see that this problem is not available there anymore, meaning that this line has been ignored. Let's say that we want to have a more personalized approach to checking the PHP code for potential problems. PHP code sniffer allows modifying its default behavior with a wide set of command line arguments, so we can use them to define our custom workflow. We want to use the PSR12 coding standard, check only the files located within the app folder and print color output. We can use the following command. We can even simplify it and reduce the number of arguments that we need to pass in the terminal by defining the configuration file called phpcs.xml.dist in the team or the plugin directory. The tool will search for this file in the current and the parent directories when no standard argument is specified in the command line and used the configuration defined there. As you can see, that's a simple XML file which defines our custom rule set. The arguments are put at the top, then we define the directories that should be checked, and we try to ask the phpcs to use psr12 as a base. So now we can use the phpcs command without specifying any arguments and everything works as earlier, when we use cli arguments. The config file might be used also to make even more personal personalized choice related to the code formatting. Let's say that we don't want to follow the rule applied by the PSR12 standard stating that the function opening brace should be placed in the new line. As you can see, the current call places the opening brace in the same line as a function initialization. If we fire the phpcs, we will see that that's the problem and it, that it should be fixed. We don't want to fix this because we want to keep it in the same line. To reflect this change in the phpcs config, we need to know the unique identifier of the rules that check this first. We can find it out by adding the s attribute to the phpcs command. As you can see, after adding this, the addition code has been put after the error, so we can take this and use as exclusion. This specific rule has the following identifier, so we can take it and set it in the name attribute of the exclude tag within the rule set that implements this rule. Please notice that we also added the s argument too. Now, when we lint the files within the phpcs, we won't see this problem anymore. This change opens up freedom in braces placement across the codebase. The users can put them as they wish now without any consistency, which seems to be risky. The code should be consistent as much as possible. So if we don't want to put them in the new line, we should allow putting it only in the same line. So. Let's define it in our rule set. So as you can see, we used the rule tag for defining the new rule that should be included in our rule set, and, and that's pretty all. But now our code looks like a shit. There are tons of error across all the PHP files because we used a different approach earlier. But don't worry, just run the phpcbf script and your whole codebase will be formatted automatically. Let's face it. CLI usage is great, but I'm lazy so I don't want to run the linter whenever I want to check the code for potential problems. And as you remember from the previous materials, I like to see the problems just as I write. And that's where extensions come in handy. I use VS Code Editor, which provides a plugin for adding a PHP code sniffer support, so we can install it and configure. After installation, we can go to the plugin settings and enable auto-executable uh, settings, which ensure which search for the PHP CS scripts in the current and the parent directories. Then we can set up the default standard. These settings define that the plugin should search for the configuration file in the current and the parent directories. Now, if you open the PHP file, you will see all the problems immediately as you write. So skipping the violations because you haven't noticed them is impossible now. 
and red highlight means that the code is not compliant with the rules and needs to be fixed before pushing the result to the repository. And that's a great boost for you and for the team. You can write a code that is clean by default now, but you can also write a code that looks like shit and then run the command to format the code for you. I use this really often and I don't imagine other ways of working. I can write as fast as I can and then format the code automatically. There is one big problem that always bothered me. How do I know which rule to use for my needs? And here things became more complicated because of the docs that are still in progress. I have a problems with finding the rules I could use to build my standards and their explanations and I know that I'm not the only one. We can list all the sniffs in the specific coding standard by adding the a attribute within the with the phpcs command but there are no explanations so we need to check them manually we can show more dogs by using the following command which provides more useful info but the sniffs codes are not available there if we find out the useful pattern we need to spend the time and search for the sniff code again in the repository or in the code base we can merge both and use available sniffs codes to generate dogs just for them with the following command, but let's face it, that's a far away from being intuitive. I've decided to give it a try and propose a solution that includes the sniff codes also in the documentation generated with the generator attribute to make the search process easier. But after discussion with the head of the PHP code sniffer project, we agreed that there are also other important concerns related to the dogs that needs to be handled together, so we need to think about this wilder and find a more global solution. I needed it now, so I've decided to create a simple tool, a bash script that iterates through all the default coding standards, gets all the sniffs available there, generates the dogs for each of them and adds more things like the sniff codes or links to the sniff files in the github. It simply generated all the things that I wish to have when starting my journey with the tool. I use it to generate markdown file which I use as a documentation. All the results generated by this simple script are available within my blog so I will post a link in the video description. I believe that it could help a lot of people, at least for trying to find the rules that should be excluded or included. Thanks to this I'm able to check a lot of available rules in one place, one by one and search for some I want to have in my codebase. I can also find the error explanations more easily and that's a huge improvement. Now I see that I have an impact on the way how the coding standards are created. I didn't have this error because I was forced to use the ones that are available by default there. I know that it is not ideal because not all the sniffs have a dogs and for sure that's something that should be available within the official project but that's where I want to ask you for a help. To make the rules this coverage better and have a better documentation like other popular linters which helps rather than rejects, we need to work together. If the project already has a lot of good ideas for handling the dogs but they are nothing without the dogs themselves. The dogs coverage is already nice but there are still many of them missing. PHP code sniffer is installed approximately 150,000 times per day. So if we can find 56 eager devs from this group who appreciate this tool, which isn't that many, it would address the most needed thing right now, the missing documentation for some sniffs. Your help makes the difference. So if you are interested, just check out the link to the proper issue on the GitHub. Choose the sniffs you want to create the docs for and help making the tool better. I will post all the links in the video description. And what about you? Did you have any problems like me within the PHP code sniffer docs discoverage? Let me know in the comments. I've seen many discussions about the problem related to the docs and that many people didn't know how to find the proper instructions for writing their own rules, so I believe that that's not a problem only for me. But of course, let me know your thoughts about this issue and you can put any thoughts about PHP code sniffer because I, I'm curious if you use them, uh, if you use this tool, how it improves your code base. And if you enjoyed this video, please remember to thumbs up and maybe share this video with other developers that might have similar problems as me. It will help me a lot. And if you don't subscribe me already, please remember to do this now because I will be posting more and more content related to the linting process in the web development. There be a, there will be a things related not only to PHP but also to the other languages used in the web development. 
So thank you for your time today and see you next time. Bye bye.